Welcome friends. Relaxation is most commonly described, discussed, practiced method amongst all of us. And we feel that we all know about relaxation in detail. So most of the yoga classes, most of the wellness classes, most of the corporate classes or most of the routine therapeutic classes or exercise gym classes usually ends with a form of 10 to 15 minutes of relaxation for different parts of the body. So we are all pretty much aware of this particular relaxation technique. But what journey I am going to take you is little more deeper and little more expansive which will increase your awareness for going deeper aspect of understanding of relaxation and various types of relaxation mainly six categories of relaxation and much more to study before we go into the discussion of relaxation i'd like to give a simple example of a science a space science event so one of the most important event in the space science is launching of the hubble telescope so hubble telescope is 10 times more powerful than any telescope on the earth and the hubble telescope can see where no one else have seen it before so two important things about hubble telescope is the Hubble telescope is kept constant in utter silence of the space, undistracted by city lights, noise of the earth. Second, Hubble can sustain its focus unmoved for hours, days and even weeks. No earth telescope can do this. The shifting continents, passing traffic, changes in the atmosphere and rotation of the planet itself can cause hurdle for the any land-based telescopes. Somewhere in 1995, astronomers have conducted an experiment for 10 days that has changed the entire vision of our universe. The name of the study is called as the deep field experiment. The deep field experiment. So astronomers have aimed the Hubble telescope towards a patch of the space that has always appeared completely empty. A dark small spot in the sky where the earth telescopes they have indi indicated that there is nothing existed there. So this experiment has a surprising findings that more than 1 trillion stars extending to the vast very edges of the universe, thousands of galaxies and each galaxy containing billions of stars. So astronomers have concluded that this discovery transforms our vision of the universe. So similarly, similar to this deep field experiment, when we go deep into the understanding of the relaxation, we get to know much more than what we understand superficially. The journey of relaxation into the inner space is also a great potential with lots of discoveries and adventures similar to the Hubble telescope. So this is true that meditations, imagery techniques, yoga have embedded deep into the religion and philosophy but also there are tools like PMR or autogenic training which are generalized and which are having ordinary tools. So in our understanding of relaxation we will study the A, B and C of the relaxation. That means attention, behavioral and cognitive relaxation. It is a simple idea of attention, 
behavioral cognitive changes and relaxation so let us dive deep into this relaxation the key to relaxation is sustaining a constant attention while diminishing overt behavior and convert our cognitive activity to elaborate all the forms of relaxation both secular and spiritual types of relaxation it only needs a sustaining passive simple focusing so this relaxation at the moment we call it as a passive simple focus everybody every one of us have experienced it some might be simply gazing at the sunset and an instant of feeling of sense of peace and beauty as the golden rays burst through the clouds or simply reading a moving story or closing your eyes feeling the nature there are so many varieties of experience of this passive simple focus if we are able to sustain this passive simple focus uninterrupted a state of passive simple focus is made easier by practicing simple formal relaxation techniques so there are various research based on these relaxation techniques and some of them i'll share it with you there are a lot of surprises rewards when you learn and practice these relaxation techniques even though we are heavily derived our resources from vedanta and yoga philosophy we also keep the evidence based approach intact there is something called as the cycle of renewal all the approaches to relaxation evoke a fundamental process of healing and growth in which we withdraw our efforts from the day we recover and we reopen ourselves to the world let us call this as the cycle of renewal in the religion we speak about global cycles of death birth repentance forgiveness as well as acceptance and enlightenment but in our professional approach of relaxation we include the mastering of discipline of withdrawing from everyday stress for healing and recovery and after this healing and recovery we return to the world more refreshed and restored so each time we pause and sigh we display a moment of relaxation and renewal with our understanding of the relaxation what we are discussing it is purely non religious universal we present it as evidence based as possible evidence based relaxation renewals and it proposes how the cycle of renewal works usually our relaxation consists of three basic constructs we call it as r states r beliefs r attitudes so relaxation states relaxation beliefs and relaxation attitudes so these states our states our belief and our attitude determine the effectiveness of all the relaxation so let us see what are these our state our belief and our attitudes our states a decade of research done by dr smith in 1999 involves several participants have revealed that the relaxation evokes at least nine specific states of the mind which we term r states relaxation states so these nine special states can be explained like sleepiness or feeling drowsy or napping disengagement a feeling of distant far away or indifferent physical relaxation a feeling of 
physically limp, warm or heavy. Mental quiet, mind is silent, quiet and free of thoughts. Mental relaxation, feeling at ease and peaceful. Strength and awareness, feeling energized, confident, focused, clear and aware. Joy, a feeling of happy, joyful, having fun. Love and thankfulness, a feeling of love for others, generally thankfulness, gratitude. And prayerfulness, a feeling of spiritual, relevant prayerfulness. So these are the R states. So these R states are more than the rewards of the relaxation. So these are very important and absolutely science based. Whenever you experience any relaxation techniques, you notice these nine specific states which I mentioned. If you are experiencing this, then you are experiencing those R states, relaxation states. Now we see about little bit about our beliefs. Our thoughts and opinions about relaxation can have a profound impact on the course of relaxation training. So, when we are studying, we focus our theory into a relaxation attitudes that are negative thoughts that can contribute to avoid relaxation or prematurely abandon the relaxation program. We can also call it as a relaxation laziness or laziness during relaxation or relaxation hypnosis. So, this is our attitude. So, our belief is somewhat philosophical representative which is conducive for the deeper levels of relaxation which is more generalized, more deeper and it has its identifying factors of eight our belief factors. So, these eight factors tell us that we are into, we are into our beliefs. Optimism, a view the world is with optimism, a feeling of optimism, a belief of that. Acceptance, accept the things that cannot be changed. Honesty, to be honest with yourself and others. Taking it easy, know when to let go and take it easy. Love, relate to others with love and compassion. Inner wisdom, trust the healing wisdom of the body. God, trust God's love and guidance and deeper perspective. Put your concern in deeper perspective. These are eight R beliefs. The relaxation technique does not just stop with instruction of these techniques and you do the technique and you learn everything. Not that. It only mainly addresses the client's attitudes and beliefs through which the cognitive restructuring can happen. Whenever we go to any psychologist for cognitive behavioral therapy or acceptance and commitment therapy or whatever counselings you go, you go, you note down the attitudes and belief systems of the patient and then you guide the patient for a positive needed required cognitive restructuring. So, this is a central feature of cognitive restructuring in this relaxation will happen when you understand the attitudes and the belief systems. The goal of cognitive restructuring is to identify and reduce the irrational and maladaptive attitudes that may inhibit relaxation or foster the development of rational adoptive beliefs conducive to practice of relaxation and generalization of our state. So, in our case of relaxation, what I mean to say is, your thought process 
will be in tuned in a way for you to practice the relaxation technique much better and follow it much better and your attitude and belief system towards that relaxation will be better so in summary the training of this relaxation is to take the people very deep into the real state of relaxation which we focus on stimulus and response terms and how to design the techniques scripts how to work on the different types of relaxation techniques how to elicit the response in the given client or a patient and how best to get the patient into the deeper relaxation and get the full benefit of our states and our belief systems these techniques of relaxation when you are practiced it will help you to build the relaxation benefits the cycle of renewal in which we specifically focus on our states our beliefs and our attitudes interact and contribute to the improvement of health performance and well being which are associated with relaxation